Hello, we've made day five of the School Rung podcast. So I accidentally pressed the live button a little bit too early. So I was going to get loads of content lined up for you guys before we went live to take the pressure off myself, seeing as I'm a mum with a three-year-old and a seven-month-old. Um, but I pressed the button and went live by accident. So I've managed to secure four fantastic guest speakers this week for you. I'll introduce today's in a moment. Um, and um, I'm I'm going to hopefully bring you some more guests next week. And I'd like to maybe talk on a couple of episodes myself and share some stuff that's really made a difference to me recently. So thank you all so much for listening. I've had so much fun putting all this together. Like I say, it's been a little bit um, by the seat of my pants because I've had two poorly ones. But, um, you know, I definitely think when you want to do something, you've just got to put it out there and just um, ride the wave, which is what I'm doing. So today I'd like to welcome Maxine Harley. She's left a fantastic voicemail it's got so much um it's so important to, to really understand this stuff um the the void the quality of the audio is not brilliant but the messages is spot on so i'm going to play it because i don't want to ask maxine to record it again because i really love what she shared but the audio is just not brilliant and that's what we get with with asking people to leave voicemails on obviously um there's tech gremlins all over the internet um trying to scupper our best plans so maxine harley is your mind healer and personal development consultant. She has a master's degree in psychotherapy, so really knows her stuff, and written two books so far, and is an online columnist, blogger, and contributing writer for women's magazines such as Psychologies and National Health. Wow. She is particularly interested in helping women to heal their emotional wounds and to empower them to become better parents, partners, and professionals. So here's Maxine with her message to you today. Hello, I'm Maxine Harley and I help women to make peace with their past and enable them to have a happier, calmer future and to become better parents, partners and professionals. Now, Each of these roles brings with it particular challenges as well as potential triggers from our past which affect us in the present day. Any negative messages you heard and believed about yourself in the past, especially in childhood, about your abilities or lack of them, your likelihood of success, or your entitlement to happiness, wealth, or health, they will have influenced your behaviour so far. These messages were passed on to you by adults who didn't know any better, and they say more about them and their life circumstances than they do about you and yours. The good news is that when you become aware of these limiting messages and beliefs, you can revise and update them, and create a new, empowering programme and set of beliefs to follow instead. But it does take lots of practice and rehearsal to make that change and some of the more toxic and deeply held beliefs are very resistant to change as they're hidden away in your subconscious mind from where they influence your life about 90% of the time. It's often enough to realise that you might have been holding yourself back from being all that you could be and enjoying your life more fully. And it's important not to blame yourself for having followed the script that was handed down to you and which you believed to be true from your child mind of years ago. Being in business will no doubt bring these old, outdated beliefs up to the surface, but you have a choice about whether they still hold you back or not. We all have an inner child, which is a shadow or echo from our past, and who holds our memories and self-concept. Your inner child will be your greatest asset in business, particularly creative businesses as long as you give them the attention they need to move beyond any restricting beliefs and you give them the voice and space they need to work for you rather than against you. In my online course designed to help people setting up or struggling with business, I highlight some of these specific triggers for the inner child, such as taking care of the boss, that's you, realizing you are important enough and good enough to be worthy of your care and attention so that you can be a good example to others and to be able to lead and succeed. It's necessary to become the sort of leader that others willingly want to follow and be associated with. That will certainly boost your business in the longer term. There's also the challenge of getting along with people in business when their egos and personalities might be hard for you to deal with. Being able to build reciprocal relationships with the right people is vital for business growth. Add to the mix the discomfort of stepping up and standing out, which is a common difficulty. I still experience this one myself. 
Being able to manage your time and energy, particularly if you have children and other commitments, means that you'll learn how to wear all the hats, juggle the balls, as well as spin the plates, hopefully with a smile on your face and a calm mood. <laughs> Although that sounds like a lot, but it will become easier. In business, we need to develop and maintain our emotional resilience and robustness too. For those inevitable times when things take too long, we don't get the results we want and expect, other people undermine us, or we're just under the weather and tired by the effort. Our inner resilience enables us to get things back into perspective, remember why we're doing what we're doing, and to get things back on track. So the takeaway from all this is, when we keep our internalised negative messages, and that may mean our internalised parents, out of our business, then our inner child becomes freed up to do what they do best, to create, to build happy relationships, and to have fun all of which give our business the very best chance of success. So I hope you agree that that is a super important message and maybe spend a bit of time today thinking through what Maxine shared with us and how, how you can sort of bring that into your life. So we're at the end of the first week. Thank you so much for spending this week for me. I hope it's added a little bit into your day and that you've managed to fit it in during the school run at the very least so that you've got a little bit in there for you um, that, that's going to brighten your day and give you things to think about. So if you loved what Maxine said, then head over to victoriacaseborn.com forward slash episode five where Maxine has shared many freebies with you that you can get your hands on and, um, and also a great offer so I've posted all that over on the show notes at victoriacaseborn.com forward slash episode five so have a wonderful weekend with your family I hope you enjoy whatever you do I'm off to Thomas Land with my three-year-old so hopefully the sun holds I'm getting away from the Glastonbury traffic because I live in Somerset here so have a wonderful weekend please do make sure you've subscribed on YouTube to make sure that you don't miss an episode and then it downloads automatically onto your phone so that you have it there ready for when you're in the car and want to listen in to something interesting for a few minutes so have a wonderful weekend and I shall speak to you on Monday.